Hello, welcome to our slide design inspirations. And today I'm going to show you how to visualize a company history. So slide with a, this kind of information. So we have a slide with a text information about the history of the company and I'm going to change it to this graphical form. So let me go with you through the steps of the slide redesign process. And the first one, actually, first step should be the analysis of the content, because that will tell us what kind of diagram, what kind of visual form to use to express that content. And just then move to the slide design itself. So I'm going to focus on this one. This is our source slide, where we have a history of a company. So we see it's written by sentences, year by year, how it developed. Uh, and looking at this content, we should consider what kind of diagram type to use. And we have several basic diagram types which you can try to apply here. For example, we have a list diagram, if you have a list of icons, structure, or flowchart if you have some process. And looking at our source text, you can actually see that there are, I put points over here, but that there, this is a sequence of events. It's just not a list of events, but these, these events are in time organized. So we have years which express a certain event. And that's why it could be good to consider the flow chart to express this kind of timeline. So what I'm going to do, let me just go to editing mode. Here, I'm going to change this information actually and just extract or, or put away the text, which is just additional. And uh, so I'm going to put the years in a separate line. And why I did it? Because I'm going to show you one trick which can help you to create diagrams pretty fast. And that trick is actually, let me just copy this slide here, that once you have a content in a set of bullet points, you can change it pretty quickly to one of the smart up diagrams, which is the built-in structure in PowerPoint. Uh, for diagrams. So if you select the list of bullet points, you go in home tab over here, then you can choose one of the diagrams. And so for example, you can choose this one and it will change your content, your bullet points, it will copy them directly to the smart art. So then you can, once you have smart art, you can go through it and uh, choose the one which expressed your content. And uh, so let's say if you go to more layouts, this is actually now we know this is a process or a flow chart, so we can choose, for example, this kind of diagram, which expresses the pretty well the timeline, the years and what was happening. So that's one of the ways you can use. You can also change this diagram to something else. Maybe this one will represent it better. However, the smart arts has kind of limits uh, that they, as you see, the size of the text is changing quite a lot. So uh, then you can you can you should then really spend quite a lot of time to adjust for example this is too big this is too small if you have longer text it's not that easy to to work with it because if you move something let's say here uh, it will it will not align very nicely so a uh, good thing is to go step further and uh, so once we know already what kind of diagram we have and it's still better that our content is represented by a diagram like that than just by the text itself, but then we still can work on it and make it look much more nicer and not to look as the default smart art diagram. So at, now it's the time to move to last step, which is beautification. So doing some small design touches in order to, to make our content look more attractive and professional. So one thing which I could do is just, uh, I just copied the text to separate text fields and put them on left-right uh, layout. So I got inspired by this one, but then I work on it further. I put the years on the arrow, again, as it as separate text fields. However, this is still kind of basic look of the arrow. So um, uh, next next step is what I did. I just check, actually re replaced this kind of arrow with a, uh, this kind of ribbon. So which is, again, this is made of uh, shapes in PowerPoint, uh, just but organized neatly and uh, with some with some little design touches. So if you have time, you can try to copy this kind of structure. And if you have a bit more time, you can still, it's good, still a good idea to also assign 
icons or symbols to, to specific points. So uh, for this case, I just selected here the icons of, uh, for example, Rocket to show the launch of the company, Globe for going international, or uh, this application window for expressing that uh, the, the, the company went to, to, uh, fully online. So I hope you like this kind of ex example and you got some idea how the whole process can look like. Just to sum it up, start with content analysis, see what is actually expressed over there, then choose the proper visualization form, one of the diagram types, for example, and then you can finish with some uh, design beautification points, like adding icons or some additional little decorations. So in this way you can get move from this kind of slide to this one. If you want to learn more and get more inspirations and uh, graphical resources, I invite you to visit our webpage infodiagram.com where we have a huge library of various editable diagrams so you don't have to create them from scratch. We have uh, lots of icons you can uh, add to your diagrams and there are also several tens of uh, various content specific presentations for various business purposes. And I suggest you start with a, uh, signing up for our email tutorial where I share uh, the tips, how to modify diagrams, how to enhance them visually. So, and as a bonus also you get some free graphics. So go to linkedinfodiagram.com slash free sample or link is also below the video and join uh, our email tutorial and see you in the next video.